Okay, now we're going to adjust the uh, valve clearances on a Volvo 2002, the Volvo Penta 2002 marine engine. This is the 2000 Series 2 cylinder. And it'll help us out. We're using the uh, service manual that came with the engine that gives us a specification on clearance and also says it should be done when the engine's warm. It's already been warmed up. And uh, we've also used for reference Nigel Calder's Marine Diesel Engines book. Also looking at uh, adjusting valve clearances on a diesel engine. So to uh, start, we've got to first pull out the uh, bolts that hold down the valve cover. And it's got uh, several components. There's the sleeve. And sometimes that gets left behind if you don't watch real closely. There's also a bushing and a washer and, of course, the bolt itself that holds the valve cover on. Those are all half-inch um, hex heads. So the valve cover comes off and it's a little stiff. You can just give it a tap with a rubber mallet and then loosen it up from the gasket. Taking a quick look at the gasket, it looks good, so I don't think we want to change that. What we're looking at here is the intake valve and the exhaust valve on cylinder number one and cylinder number two. That makes it really simple, just a two-cylinder engine. So what we're going to do is turn the crank over using a 5 16 socket on the alternator. This gives us a bit of leverage. The engine has a high compression ratio being diesel, so it needs a little bit of leverage in order to turn it over. So what we're looking for is the, there goes the exhaust valve opening up on the first cylinder. And when that closes, the next stroke we're going to see the intake valve open. And then we turn it over until both valves are closed. We reach full compression. And you can really feel it. And I can actually hear it too. And it turns out on this engine, the, the flywheel pulley, there's a mark that does correspond to top dead center. You can't always rely on that on uh, an older engine. Sometimes these pulleys have been pulled off and put back on and not oriented properly. But on this engine, the top dead center mark still corresponds to top dead center on cylinder number one. So with both valves closed and compression full at the top of the second stroke, we take this um, 12 thousandths of an inch feeler gauge, or that's um, 0 0.0, I'm sorry, 0 0.305 millimeters, and just slide it between the rocker arm and the top of the valve and see what the clearance is. And this looks pretty good. It um, slides, you can feel friction, but it's not holding it hard. So that clearance is good. And then we go back to the exhaust valve, slide it under there, and that one has a good clearance as well. So those two clearances don't need to be adjusted. If we needed to, what we would do is take a 13 millimeter wrench and put it on that lock nut and then use this little stubby screwdriver to adjust the screw up or down with the fueler gauge between the rocket arm and the top of the valve until the valve clearance is felt to be correct. So that would be uh, cylinder number one. And since this is a two-cylinder engine, <clears throat> all we have to do is turn the crankshaft over one full revolution, and we're good for cylinder number two. And so we'll turn this over. We just got uh, compression on that one. Number two is coming up. There's the intake valve on number two going down, and it is about to close. There it closes, and now we're putting compression in valve or cylinder number two, and that is right about there. So back with our feeler gauge, <clears throat> 12 one thousandths of an inch on the intake side. That goes in really nice. And 12 one thousandths of an inch on the exhaust side. And that's a little difficult to get to because of the plumbing for the fuel gauge.
and that one's good too. So our clearances are good. We don't need to adjust anything. And uh, this procedure is done for this engine. The manual has us doing this every 50 hours, every 50 hours of operating time. And that's about once a year. So we're good. So the last, all I have to do now is put the uh, valve cover back on and tighten down the bolts and we're good. And that's a valve cover or a valve clearance job for a Volvo Penta 2002.